guys, as the weather's heating up, I can't spend all of my time in a beer garden. So instead, I like to have a cheeky bit of my air up. Air up is the best way to stay hydrated because you're still drinking water, but you can still taste the berries through the scent. You're probably wondering, how does it work? Well, I'll show you. All you got to do is fill up the water bottle, put your little scent pod in and then pull it up until it stops and then get drinking. Since using my air up, I've been drinking so much more water. I've been staying away from any bad things. Air up is so good because the pods are small and I can switch them up throughout the day and get loads of different flavors. And there's also over 25 flavors to choose from. So you're never going to get bored. And if you're into it, you can add a bit of sparkling water to give yourself a fizzy drink. The opportunities are endless. Bill always steals my water bottles, but I've given him a nice little blue one and he's loving it. He's taking it everywhere to the gym, to the kebab shop. He's doing it all. And I love my pink one, girly. It's also a perfect practical gift for yourself, treat yourself or someone you love. You can get your air up bottle at uk.air-up.com with the code GKBARRY10 for 10% off. That is G-K-B-A-R-R-Y-10 at uk.air-up.com. Right, welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, we've got a fucking icon. It's Katie Price. It's pricey. The price is right. Isn't it just? And do you know why it's special today? Tell me. Because not many people have had me in a chair after a nose job. But it looks so iconic that I'm loving it. I love it. It's been broken and everything three days ago. I wish I could get my nose broken and put into place, (laughs) I'll be honest. I didn't even know it was going to break it. I just said I want a pretty nose. Is that all you do? Like when you go in, do you just say, make it Well, I'm used to the surgeon. This is the thing. Right. Right. Tell me. I'm 45 years old. And I started this industry when I was 17. Yeah. And before airbrushing, before anything, before natural, face natural. App. Yeah, before anything. God forbid. So I've done my whole career, yeah. basically, natural, apart from yeah. the boobs. So I'm in my 40s. So if I want to start pulling my face around, I will. Yeah, it gives a shit. But I don't. This is the thing. There's so many people out there who've had surgery or fucking fillers, whatever. You're allowed to swear on it. Oh, go for it. Just right. don't say Oh, it's my favourite. That's Say it then. Don't worry. Well. You- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if Harvey was here, he'd be saying that. I'd be bleeping the whole thing. Do you know, I did a TikTok live the other day. Yeah. And someone, there's such dicks, they went, hello, you can't. And I was like, don't you mean hello, you <laughs> You can't even spell yeah. it right. Do you know what I mean? Do you get that a lot on your lives? Do I out them though. Do you know what? There's so many lovely people out there, but I love it because they abuse them back. Or they're like, <laughs> I tried to do a TikTok live today with a mask on. Right. And people are like, oh, what's up? And I'm like, I've had a nose job. Like, and then they're like, you're plastic. I went, yeah, fantastic. Like, who cares? But what are you also meant, like, is that meant to be an insult that you're plastic? I don't care if they do. I fucking love it. My mum tells me off, like, she read it in the paper um, the other week. Mm-hmm. She said, you better not be going for surgery. I went, no, mum, I'm not. And then just before I went down, mum, just to let you know, I'm going down for surgery. I'll phone you when I'm up. She can't do anything then. No, because she does. She will phone the surgeon, I can tell him. Stop. She's done that, yeah, and stopped me having surgery. Yeah, but you don't look like, when you know some people get surgery, right? And therefore, I was going to say like Cher, but I can't put that in. Well, you can. I've said it now. Yeah. Cher looks crazy. Like, I love yeah, Cher. Yeah, I know. But, she no, looks, but I don't want to look like that. You don't look like Cher. When you look like Cher. Not Cher. Look at us, Cher. Cher. <laughs> what I mean is... I have to be careful because mm-hmm. in a few years, I probably will look transparent if I do pull my face. <laughs> so, but you know, there's, the thing is what I don't do. Yeah. Years ago, I had filler. I'd right. done all the filler and I hated it. It made me look like a chipmunk. Oh, because, yeah, yeah, I get it. And you. then people don't realise that it drops and then you get the girl. Is it the migrate, the migration? Yeah, or the migrate. I've done it all, uh-uh. but I have to be careful because sometimes I look in the mirror and I think, oh, are people looking because I look like I've had surgery or they looking because they're just looking. I think they're looking because you're Katie Price. No, but do you know what I mean? There's some <laughs> I people think... have them looks and it's not nice. Like I think a lot of girls in their early 20s, they all look the same. Do you, th- oh my God, 100%. And and I there's, don't, there's I don't like care a, because I've Epsom had look. surgery and I'm full up, remember, I'm in my 40s, and I say this to Princess and that, not that she wants anything done, that I didn't do anything to my face. Yeah. But I am 40, and at 45, I can do what I like now. But girls, they have it done so young. The fillers, all like, 
the triangle look with the jaw, yeah. the big, big lips. I know I've had it, but I'm saying I'm in my 40s. Yeah. What are they going to be like in their 40s? Would you be against Princess getting anything done? Do you know what I would say? I, I'd have to support, yeah. but because I've been there, done it, I would make her wait at least till she's like 21 if she wanted okay, a that's boob fair. job. Yeah. Because I think 18, I was too young. Yeah, and also I feel like everything's still developing. Like I only got tits at 21. And barely. Yeah, I was late developer. Barely, yeah. And like, lumps. she doesn't need anything. And a lot of people said I didn't. But I have ne- I don't think I'm pretty. Never have done. That's why I do stuff. And I think maybe I have got body dysmorphia. So I, I was going to say, even though like you were a model, did yeah. you never think even like, right, no. you didn't think you were pretty at all? I don't think I'm pretty. But what I will say is, give myself a G. Give it. I would give anyone a run for their money when you put me behind a camera on a Amen. photo shoot. Yeah. Because apparently my I, I know how to work a camera. Yeah. And I am not threatened by any 20-year-old or anyone like that. As you I know have. how to work my body, know how to work the camera. But as in life like this, of course, the people wipe the shit over me, but I'm I know <laughs> yeah. what I'm doing behind a camera. I I Yeah. I love the camera and it I loves think, me. Because the first time that I ever saw you was when you were in the jungle having a shower which song i've done and it I twice said, no it was the first one. Oh, with their dad yeah and i said i'm I was be so like her. ugly in that i had a mole at the side of my oh. nose and i didn't take an off after that marilyn I was monroe myself moly, she moly. had a mole yeah but I've everyone would shag her princess princess is here with me um she's got a mole in the same place my mum has and all my kids we've all got this mole. are you gonna keep yours keep yours yeah. cool yeah. yeah what a girl love that our princess think is so pretty, no, though. Yeah. No, seriously, she fuck. She was so yeah. ugly as a kid, Because when I was at your... <laughs> How can you... No, really no, you was ugly, wasn't you? <laughs> no, Google it. Like, I can't believe how ugly she was. Now she's so gorgeous now. ugly as a kid. Now. No, so the genes have come through. I don't care They've what anyone says. Through. It's not being cruel. I know if my babies are ugly or not. And when some goes, Yeah, oh, but you prefer them lovely. to be an ugly baby than grow up to be clapped. Because she's so not ugly. But babies normally are like little old men. Yeah, they, they do. They do. So you know when you, you pop out the chip, like the children or I've whatever. only had one out there. The others are the sunroof. Oh, you all cut out. So <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> I was a sunroof baby yeah, too. Yeah, there was. Touched, but you yeah. know when you first see them, do you think, oh my God, I love you so much. Or do you think, oh God. Because no, Harvey was my. F- I'm so. I'm so. I want more kids. I've got five. I just love. You want more? Just, Adopt I'm me. I'm so. I'd love to. Thank you. My house is mad anyway. I'm in. Yeah, that's fine. I can go. I on. love kids. I love. I just love nurturing. Yeah. I'm. I'm just born for it. Mm-hmm. Like I think that was one of the reasons why um, I was meant to have half. Yeah. Because I'm very patient. Yeah. Well, you did that documentary as well with. Harvey and everyone I remember a lot of people at the time didn't understand you but after that they were like one thing you can say about Katie Price is she's such a good mum no I, I definitely am a good mum I am bonkers and as you should be like I am bonkers and I princess <laughs> like when she goes to her dad's house yeah she's like oh it's so peaceful and quiet she goes as soon as I come to yours it's like dramas chaos this that I feel no, like that's a fun. nice in between you have peace and then you have chaos. Yeah, but I, I can't that. help it. Like, I get so excited at night at the moment to watch Love Island. Like, come on! I'm so glad that we've bonded over this. I, I just, I'm loving Love Island. Same. Who did you say your five favourite was? What, in there now? Yeah, right now. Do you know what? I've forgotten her name when I watch it, the blonde one. Jess. Jess. Oh, she's, I like yeah, Jess, actually. she's funny. I said Whitney. I like Whitney as well. She's iconic. I love yeah, her. Yeah, I love Whitney. But we both don't like Mitch. No, every girl. Yeah. yeah. He knows what <laughs> every girl he's on. A bit of oxygen there and he's like, on no it. No one should feel flattered if Mitch chats you up. No, I completely agree. Story of my life. But I completely agree. No, yeah. d- we don't have to be political correct. I hate that. <laughs> like, I am say what it is. If yeah. I upset someone, I upset them. Fuck like, them. I can't. No, I'm, I'm not like that and vindictive person, but I can't help saying what I think. Um, I reckon Tyrone, I say names wrong. I think Tyreek. And might win. Tyreek, I agree, actually. I think they've had their bit. Them, what about Zach and Molly? They she haven't had any screen time. This time, 
I reckon she yeah. went in there, had no money. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come out, everyone's offered to do her hair, this, that, because she's gone in, she looks better. Got all that shit done. Don't you think she looks better? Yeah, she that's how I do, Casa Amor. No, but I make princess practice. With the amount of times I say princess. Oh, would you go on Love Island? But oh, obviously, if you, God forbid, if you were single. And oh, I hope God you last forbid. forever. But I always say, do the I walk. Think. And then she walks the in and goes out. Like, I've done, I make Hello, you do boys. stuff like that. I love it. I love I'd, it. I would love to just walk on just to do I the think strut. Junior could do it, you know. Junior's too safe. Oh, really? He, he's not like Princess. Junior's very safe. He's like wow. his dad. I would say he quite plays things safe. Yeah. Like, example, if he goes on a red carpet, like I say to Princess, if you're going to a red carpet, say a field premiere, half the people don't even want to watch the film. They're there to be pictured oh of course so yeah dress Fuck the film. like dress so you're gonna get pictured don't yeah. play it safe yeah. like wear latex but, but, like you're gonna that's what i say oh i can't wait to see the pictures i'm scared to see them but if i sat with a brush there and there, that's so tight you'll yep. have a popcorn and it'll look like you've got a blown out belly no button. i didn't know that <laughs> do you know what i mean i'm scared for my life <laughs> <laughs> i'll see it all in it but um no like where's princess I think because I know the industry and like my press calls. Yeah. I love doing my press calls so I can dress up. Yeah. Love I, well, it. Well, we love to say, it's always like, you know when you've been somewhere because you're like all over. I just the love the page. dress up. But don't get me wrong, at home, I'm just, I'm like a boy. I'm in my tracksuits, t-shirts. No, you don't mate, have cup to. Of tea and I just slouch. Have a tea. And have a biscuit. I do. I think it confuses people in my life because yeah. when people don't meet me, I think they think, they're going to come to my house. It's all champagne dressed up when really it's absolute opposite. Yeah. Yeah. When I picture you at home, I think you're wearing knee high boots. I think people are like that. A lingerie set. And when I walk in the door, you'll whip me. And that's what I imagine no, when I walk into your house. if you was male or my boyfriend, it's different. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you into men or women? I can do whatever you want, Katie. No, but are you though? Is that a personal question? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like a bit of both. I, I like are you my bisexual. Fin- I am. Yeah, I like fingers in all pies. I do. Do you? Yeah, I do. Double trouble. Yeah, but lesbian experiences are quite scary. Are you scary. actually telling the truth? On does, any, does everyone know Bible. That you're bisexual? Bible. Bible. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I yeah. love that. Would Imagine I this is my coming. Yeah, I mean, really? do you know what? You could, you could, do you I like don't know. like blondes or brunettes? Or oh, I've got wigs as well. That's fine. I could do pink hair if you want. So if I've got a long pink, but I love Fucking it. What's knew my it. wig box like, princess? I love it. I love that. Do love you just it. sometimes put on a wig? Yes. For like the Sainsbury shop. I don't know where you shop. M&S? No, I did it the other day. I come down there and went, why have you got a blonde wig on? I said, because I feel like being blonde to watch Love Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put yourself in there. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Don't talk, you could ask me right. anything. So, you've got a podcast out, right? You've been yeah. let loose. And what I didn't realise was you do it with your sister. Because oh, I don't. saw clips of this on Boring my TikTok. So. No, but I, she's the polar opposite of you. Uh, I didn't uh, think yeah. she was your sister. No, no, she's like Victorian times. How has this happened? She's like, my. all they do is tell me off. Oh, do, <laughs> like, she would rather go to a museum and look at a piece of art. Oh, bless her. Like... So, what? It's so boring. We're just so different, but we get yeah. on. And she tells me off on my podcast, don't, okay, don't. I'm like, all right. But I think that's what makes it good. Yeah, do you know, I've never watched a podcast in my life. And I think you've saved and a I lot of time. Done, I think this is the second podcast I've ever done in my life. And no, I feel third, so privileged. Esther Ransom. Yep. And I did... The Fellas. Oh. Kathy Burton News, that's it. Thank you. People ask me to this do This is them, going on my quite CV. frankly... I just don't. And that's fair enough. Do I'm, it on I'm your quite own. Like, I'm not fussy. It's just like, I heard that you're a laugh and all that. And I love Thank that. Thank you. Well, I saw a clip of your pod and it was your sister going, are you ever going to get married again? Oh, and you shit, were just like, you were saying, they just take my money. It's all they about do. the money. You need to get prenups done. I have. Right. Don't work. Well, I'll write them for you because it's not working. The, the, the answer is just don't. Just just don't get married. Yeah, you that's know what fair. what a lot of people said to me. Tell me. They said, why don't you just go for women? I'm not even joking. Yeah. Because the amount of shit I've had with men and my yeah. mum's boot, I weren't flirting with you. You should, get, get, uh, you should dip joking. your finger in a pie. I have done. Get, all right. In a Playboy mansion. Okay. I have, I've, it's out there. I have, oh, I've I always done forget you're a Playboy before. girl. I have Sorry, done girls. Princess. Oh my God, this is thing. There's, actually, I showed Jada earlier before we left because I've got this um, bag with all photos and that. And there was all me of Hugh Hefner. And I remember what one night we was? went out with Hugh Hefner because I lived there for six weeks in yeah. the Playboy Mansion. 
And it was the same time I was there, I was doing a BBC documentary and right. I took Harvey to America because he was born blind, obviously, about his eyes. Mm. And my mum was staying in this hotel and there was a club underneath. So I said to Hugh, Ooh. oh, my mum's staying here. Can we go and knock on the door? <laughs> my mum had no idea. We all went up. The six girls of us, Hugh, knocked life. on the door and I've got pictures of them holding Harvey now. Oh, Hugh. That is so iconic. So God, you met Hugh Hefner? I lived with him because he wanted me to cool. be his girlfriend. What was he like? But I just didn't want to have sex with him. I don't. That wrinkly penis, it was like even being then. With, oh, no, it wasn't wrinkly. Horrible. How do you know? I've seen it. I've seen it. I was that's in the rooms fair. when I was like, that's when I've done the girls. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, so he'd be, in the, he'd be in the room with you? Yeah, we're all doing it. On a Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights, it was. Oh, that's a nice in between there. That's the day you get day off. off. Like it was amazing in there. Like, you just pick up the phone, order what food you want. Like, well, I was going to say, in Big Brother, I think you came across. I was across... so boring, though. No, you weren't. My boob was hanging out. Oh, thank God. Like, I think that was fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Do you know what? I'm actually not joking. They asked me to do that show so many times, and I was late going in. I'd literally had a boob job. <laughs> this is so on And it was tearing up. It was oh. implant. So I had the surgeon came three times a week to dress me. In the house? Yeah. Right. And the night before the final, I had to go to hospital because it was so infected, like so bad. You're a trooper. And they said, there. you're going to have to leave. You've got to have your implants out. You're going to get septic. I went, no, I can't. It's the final. Yeah, so fuck they sepsis. checked me every four hours, my temperature. And the Katie Hopkins and all that were going, why don't you leave? It's not like you need the money. It's not about the money. I've done the journey. I, I just want to stay to the end. You had the hardest people in that house. Do you if know what, I got though? put in there, I'd have had some sort of mental break. So See, I'm so patient with things. And I thank God there was arguments because it was so boring. boring. I, and I don't think people realise how long you're in there for. But it is so boring. Don't yeah. Know the times of nothing like... So to watch people argue is just quite entertaining. Do you like, in a situation like that, do you like being in the argument or watching the argument? Well, Katie Hopkins would try it on. Of course. For example, say if I held my cup like that. Right. And it's all, she'd be like, ooh, don't you hold your cup funny. And inside, I'd want right. to say, why don't you fuck off, you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. When really, I'd be like, yeah, I suppose I do, really. Uh, yeah. Play it that way. Everyone wants to say that to her, so fair play. But the reason I don't, because I know what she was trying to do. And then she started talking about Harvey. Why, why do I have money off the government to take him to school and stamp him? I'm like, because he's his own but individual. But you wouldn't ask someone But that's like when she tried that. to start. And I'm like, I would never start an argument. Um, I can stand up. I'm, I'm only tiny. I'm only small. I'm, I'm not a fighter. I'm more of a lover. But yeah. I can stick up for myself if I need to. Amen. And if I'm with my friends and we're out, I oh, I'm sure they do it. Oh. oh, no, but I just stick up. I can't help it. Do you like a night out? I do, but it don't happen often. Yeah, yeah, it's I can ag. imagine. It's, it's camera phones. <laughs> camera phones? Well, yeah, because if you're doing something and then they go <laughs> yeah. and celebrate, I could be talking oh, to someone. Oh, cool. You and need to go to the box. I've been there once. Yes, I want to go back there. I've heard it's absolutely mental. People just putting sweet corn out of their purse and stuff. Yeah, you're going to go to Thailand for that. Sweet oh, corn, really? you get more than that coming out. I, I fucking bet. I want to go because I've heard it and no one's allowed their phones. The See, see, I think that's good. Yeah. Because it's a shame, like, and it pisses my friends off. I don't mind doing pictures for people. I yeah, don't know. But it's the different. secret ones. Yeah. And, you know, every minute people go, can I have a picture? Can I have a picture? And I'm so, like, I just do it. Yeah. But then my friends get pissed off, like, leave her alone, let her for a night out. And I'm like, look, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel I'm, like it I does get annoying. If it weren't for, like, people out there. Yeah. But then I'd constantly be like, does my hair look all right? No. Once I've had a drink, I'm a nightmare. Yeah, no, I felt that. Then if I see a microphone, I'm even more than obvious. All I want to oh, do is sing. Oh, you go up there. Oh, What's your karaoke song? Whitney Houston. It's got to be. I have nothing. I oh, have nothing. Okay. Nothing. Carry on. If I don't have you. I can't really sing. I've done no show. Yeah, that's fair. You know what? I appreciated that, though. Yeah. It's going to be my new ringtone. Right. Hope you all appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that. I do love all, like, yeah, Whitney songs. <clears throat> I love it. I love it. We did that the other week, didn't we, Princess? <coughs> By the way, Princess isn't part of this, but um, she's She's there. part of it. So what is your usual... I want to know what a My weekend day. is like in your house. Friday night, curry night. Love that. Sunday, love that. I always say, oh, they always want me to cook a roast. Why do you like me to cook a roast? Because I like your roast potatoes. <sighs> oh, you got like a crispy potato going on. I, I, I don't... Oh, they like my cooking. Yeah, as they should. Yeah, I, I don't know. What do we do... I don't really go out. I would go out, but like, 
I don't know, really. I'm just. I imagine perhaps hiding in trees. Really. I'd rather have people come to my house. Yeah, yeah. And because then you could do whatever. Yeah, no one can see. Yeah. How would they know? Yeah. I love that. I don't know why, but I'm just so interested in but it. But my house is the kind of house. Well, because you did a show about your house. Mucky Mansion. Yeah. That's because a guy fucked my house over. Fuck him. And I found out he'd been in prison twice for doing what he's done to my house. I'm no not saying way. his name. That's why I did Mucky Mansion again, because of what happened with my ex. It was just sitting there for two years. And I thought, am I ever going to get in this house? And I thought, if I do, I'm going to have to change everything. Yeah. Which yeah. is why I did Mucky Mansion. Iconic show. Everyone loves it. They want me to do a third one, please, Channel 4. Please. Why not? Well, I will do. Okay, I should show. I was going <laughs> to say, I was like, what's stopping you here? Oh, cause I, I'm, I am filming this year. It's just, yeah, well, I'm doing I want you to do that. like a Mummy Diaries vibe. That's what I want from you. I, I just, I, the thing is, I don't want to be a feminist or nothing because I don't do everything <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And if they saw what I'm like for my kids. Yeah. I'm oh, the mum brigade would come at you. laid back. Like, yeah, but it's not like you have my bad kids, kids so it's fine. My kids would be outside with no shoes on, with the hose and yeah. all of that, picking bugs up. Yeah. Like my brother, it's funny, because if he comes up with his girls, they have to put their shoes on, coats on, this, that. Where oh, mine right. are just muddy, getting <coughs> bold. Like, it is what it is. You're feral. The amount of times Jet is obsessed with frogs and that, brings them Ooh, in the house. And, no. Yeah, oh, I hate like, that. That's, normal. that's just normal to you, you like from The house is nuts. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, iconic, but horrible. I love it. I just, yeah. <laughs> Your mum has released a book. Oh my god! I haven't even read it. Yeah, please, it's about like it includes no, no, you in I, it. She wouldn't let me read it. Why is it bad or good? She stuck up. Well, the thing is, my mum thought <laughs> she was going to die. Generally. Oh my god! Oh no! Yeah, sorry. She yeah. actually thought she was going to die. Right. So this book, why well, we laugh at her now because she's actually survived. Right. Um, <laughs> what a not only is it about she started writing a book basically about her life, wanting us all to know. Um, the re well, I'm just going to rewind. Okay. If there's anyone out there who, who's got a parent or anyone who's terminal ill, mm -hmm. in a way, I think that's better because then you can get the conversations you want, ask questions. About yeah. Thing. If someone's just died in an accident instantly, I think that's worse to cope with. Yeah. Because you haven't said goodbyes, have to, this yeah. and that. So my mum decided to do a book about her life. And then as she started writing it, she was like, God, there's similarities between me and Kate. Mm -hmm. And so, and then, she, oh, this is funny. So... There's friends out there who she's friends with and there's so many things she really wanted to say to them and everything, she's put it in the book. Right. But now she survived it, she's going to have to face Now she's going to have to face the demons. And then she done a list of who she didn't want to come to her funeral. So we were like, Mum, why have what, you done that? What, in the book? That? Everything. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously she's <laughs> stuck up for me and everyone's got to realise whenever you do a book, so I'm, I'm doing another biography. Please, um, I love I've it. I've got three people at the moment who want to... Um, do a deal um and it proves it would do well because my mum's yeah. good's number one already is it yeah she's done and, and she's taken no money she's given all the money proceeds all oh, to charity so nice. which is what really girl. good for mm. her but yeah this whole book when you do a book you have to have evidence of absolute everything you put in yeah. a book otherwise you can get sued this and that oh okay I um, know that. but i haven't read it yet <laughs> you could be pissed off in the next week Oh, I wouldn't be pissed off with my mum, but she's stuck up for me. And, yeah. But I, I've got to read it, so I don't know really oh what's my. in it. Because apparently this is like a good thing, for, like this book is a good thing for you. Oh, apparently it sets the record straight about a lot of things. The thing is, when you're in the media, yeah, people make their perception up of what mm -hmm. they think. Yeah. But I can't control what the media write. But people have to remember, I've been in the industry since I was 17. Of course they've seen me fall out of nightclubs. Of course they've seen me wearing the minute little outfits, tits out, this, that. That's growing up. That's normally what people do on a night out. Yeah. But mine was pictured and documented. And the media was so hot and cold of you. Like, I think oh, they started ridiculous. off loving you. And now they're just They just have it horrible. in me. I don't understand it. Like, I love doing reality. Mm -hmm. I love doing my press calls. I used yeah. to love doing my photo shoots and stuff. But now it's like, why should I when you slag me off? Like, yeah. It's got to a point where how much more... Can we try and damage Kate? And it's always the lies as well. But people the believe it. They people do. believe it, trouble. yeah. Like, if I'm not going to lie. If I read what I do about myself and I didn't know that what I'm really like, I probably wouldn't like me either. I'd probably but, think I'm nuts. Not, not nuts like that, but like, not really with it. Like, um, 
I don't really know. Okay, but yeah. I am different. I'm I'm smarter than what people yeah. think. I'm a workaholic. I'm a, a working mum. Don't ponce off anyone. Um, good mum, and I love to work. And yeah. I just I'm, I'm only here because of the public. And I always say, how am I still here? Because I've seen so many people come and go. Pop bands, girl bands, presenters, this that. And I'm I still here. But I don't know have why. I've always said this. You're like a cockroach. You know, if a bomb came, still survive. I don't You'll know how, fine. but I did hit rock You'll bottom. Be f- Ended up in the priory, um, got myself help because of what was going on in my life. What is the priory like, sorry? Do you know, I love it. I think it's brilliant. It's how you see You'd it recommend telly. it to a friend. Do nice. you know why? Yeah. And I did one of my friends, I put in the priory because she was going to die, Michelle Heaton. She'd oh tell God. you, well, if it weren't for me, she'd be dead. Yeah. About 100%. Wow. Um, really was on her death, it saved her life. So, you know, like when you're on telly, like I, I love documentaries, true life yeah. stuff, and I like real depressing, watching depressing oh, yeah. stuff. I don't know why, or true crime. No, I agree. That. The crime stuff's great. And you know, when you see them sit round in a circle and then they ask each question, it really is like that. Yeah. Um, I learned so, I've never been in the priory for an addiction for mm-hmm. drugs or alcohol, even though the media said, never, never, never. I suffer um, severe traumatic, I, I went in there for severe traumatic rehabilitation, PTSD. Yeah. But yeah, so the priory for me, it, it um, yeah, it really helps to get validation because I'm the most insecure person mm. you could meet. Although yeah. I'm confident. Yeah, I guess that doesn't always I'm insecure mean. insecure because I don't, Men have made me feel in Scots. Why yeah. don't I think I'm pretty? This, that, which but is they, mental because a lot of so many people look at you and they're like, well, I'm Can't not. I look at old pictures and she's like, you're so. Pr-. I'm like, are you joking? I look ugly. Like I That's don't. So mad so, to me. I don't, but I don't. But they teach you validation, assertiveness, mm-hmm. how to like. I'm a yes person. I don't like to let anyone down. Mm-hmm. Just to be a bit more stronger that it is okay to say no to things. Yeah, or... well, that's tough, especially when you first come into the industry because you want to take oh, so everything. Oh, in this that... industry. Horror and hell. No, but it really Horror is. Horror and hell. Like, don't get what I say it has its perks. These days, it is just damage Kate, damage Kate, damage Kate, yeah. which is why I love to do the podcast because mm-hmm. you can talk about Shows anything. The real, and yeah. I love social media because they never had that when I was about because... Like, if, if a journalist, if I really want to out them, I out them and put their names, and then they phone up and say, Love can you that. put that down? I'm like, well, why is it all right for you to put it but up? But I can't do it. Because I've probably got more followers than what they fucking sell each week. Oh, 100%. But it's like, it is a game. The industry is a game. Yeah. If you're if you're quite sensitive, it's quite hard to be in it. Like, mm-hmm. I can take the piss out of myself, yeah. chronically take the piss, and I really don't care if anyone takes Which the piss out of me. Which is a good trait, because you've already I done it. I embrace it. Yeah. I don't care, but what I don't like is when it's damaging real lies, because mm-hmm. my family and kids have to read it, and they yeah. know. Yeah, And then that isn't fair. Mm-hmm. It's like, because no one deserves that. And I do have human um, humans, I do have feelings, and I, I am a human well, being. But it's bad that it's legal for them to sell lies. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, so, well, I was thinking of a Netflix story about all this, but I'd be able, Dave, I told you about this. But um, Go on. Yeah, I do think when drones fly over my house... Mental. I just think that's so out of order. Mental. And at the moment, I've actually got a crime reference somewhere. I've reported uh, a company because um, I'm starting to get paranoid. And I've said, I see a therapist every week. Because mm. sometimes when I leave the house, I feel like I'm being watched. But that's because like, you probably were. That, well, this is yeah. what's been happening with these certain people. Or I'm seeing my mum, I'm like, I feel like I'm being watched. Mm. And they're like, oh, don't be seen. Then the next day, the picture's there. I've told you, I'm like, I told you I was being watched. You can feel it, so yeah. So this person, like, if someone wants to pap me, pap me, yeah. but at least let me see you that you're doing it so I can acknowledge. Yeah. It's the ones that are hiding and I don't know where they're so hiding. So weird. So to me, I've reported them to the police. I'm just waiting to do my interview. It's like they're stalking me. They have an obsession with me and it's harassment. Has it ever happened where you've been in your house and someone's taken it a step too far? Well, this is what's happening with the drone. Oh, like, yeah. I hate, like, when Harvey comes home, when you're autistic, some people, like, autistic, will, like, take their clothes off. Right, yeah, Like, yeah. he could be in the garden naked and a, sh- a thing. They shouldn't come over anyway. And that's anyway, weird, the yeah. Or they wait at the end of the driveway. But what this certain company is doing, they are hiding and I can't see them. And it makes me paranoid that I'm being Ooh, followed. That's really weird. It's like a Black Mirror episode. It is, it is like that. So I am doing something about that. But I am fair game. I'm not moaning about media. They've been good to me. 
and I've been good to them. But it's like, it's got to a point where they actually don't give a shit. What else can they write? I mean, what else? Oh, uh, you'd probably be surprised though, wouldn't you? I if bet they, every week you go, really? But I could really <laughs> give one? them good shit. Yeah. I could really give them good <laughs> stories yeah. if they want They just it. ask. I really fucking could. Yeah. What is the wildest thing you've done in your life? It depends what you mean Because I feel like wild. you've lived like 40 lives in one life. Well, it's funny you say that because sometimes if I get something through the post, it says Jordan. My younger ones, they're like, who's Jordan? I'm like, mummy, no, it's not. Your name's Katie Price. <laughs> you don't get it. They have no idea who Jordan is. That's what I love about doing like these podcasts and yeah. mine with Soph and um, doing another book. Because there is a new audience out there that follow yeah. me. But they, they know me as Katie Price, not Jordan. They don't know. It's yeah, it's crazy. true. It, that, I didn't even think about it like that, you know. But if you think about all the Formula One I've done... Like, I toured around America with Hugh Hefner because I was the first girl to do the club, English girl to do the cover of Playboy. Um, you know, the Oscars, all these people, like, there's people, like, I can't even explain. You've been to the Oscars? Three times. What? Like. Apparently it's really boring, but it's cool I'm not to a go. names dropper at all, and I don't Drop care who anyone is. But it's still fascinating to like see these actors or actresses, whatever in life and think fucking how they're tiny or what they really yeah, look like. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I always think like, that. Yeah, I love people watching, but I have done a hell of a lot in my life, the covers of magazines, because people don't really buy magazines, like the Loaded magazines, yeah. FHM. The, 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 the era these days, it's all social media. Yeah, it's all online. And I always think if I had that when I started, fucking hell. Yeah. I can imagine. Because I might not have as many followers as other people who've done like Geordie Shaw, Towies and that. Mm. But my followers are dedicated. They're like the strong followers. Well, you who find that a lot them. of these people on reality, they have loads of followers, but At they have the time, no and then engagement. When they come yeah, out, yeah. Absolutely none. You've got the engagement. I do have proper loyal people, and I, I thank everyone for that. But I still don't understand what the interest is. I, I actually don't. I just. But I'm, I'm lucky. I'm not moaning. I think it's, but you're not like a plain Jane. But I think I've I've had real life experiences and I think people can probably relate to that. Well, your life is crazy. Well, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said that your wedding dress is in a box full of rat shit. Oh my God, it was. I it can't is. believe that. I show princesses. Put it in a day. museum. I can't believe it. I, <laughs> I the, can't the, believe um, that. wedding skirt when I married your dad. Mental. I wanted her to wear it for a prom. Why she should have done, shouldn't you she? Should've. You should have. You should have. Just, just have another prom. You'll I didn't right. even have a problem. I'm too old for that. Do you know how old I am? That <laughs> I don't even need to take my license to drive a seven and a half ton lorry. What? Because I'm not old. <laughs> I love how bad. that's... Really? When I put things in perspective like yeah. that, like... Fucking hell. What do you think you're going to be like and be doing at 80? Same. Same. Love it. Do you think you'll still be getting work done at 80 or not? You'll be bored of it by then. I, you'll probably, I'll probably be the first human where you can see veins and heartbeats going through the face because it'll be that <laughs> yeah. fucking pulled like up there. Do you think you'll always live in England as well? Do you know what? I, I, I love going abroad. Yeah. But then I get homesick because I a cup yeah. of tea, never the same abroad. I, I do love it. Yeah. And I love the English country. I do love being, I love going abroad as well. But not to live. I don't know where, I, for tax reasons, and that I would, but then... Oh, I completely agree. But then again, like, pff, I'm involved in that as well. Like, what can they do? What, <laughs> what are they going to do? But, Wait, um, let me check the time quickly, because I don't want you to miss your... Okay, fine. I You're joking. You, you haven't even asked anything. I've done so much no, talking. But can I, we do this I together, round it. two? <laughs> oh, my God, I wanted you to react to this. Did you see Bimini? Yes, um, we're, oh, we're setting up it. a shoot. <laughs> what? We're going to set up a shoot together. Shut up. Yeah, a real fashion shoot. And how? I said I want them to design me how, wherever. We'll insert the clip. Just insert five seconds of the clip for those that who haven't wore, seen um, it. She wore my dress. She was spot on. I, I was like, Do you like no. people doing impressions of you? Yes. Or do you find it rude? No. Good. I, Good. Could you, can you do me then? Oh, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> But no, the truth is, I've always been drunk as well. Yeah. And in a group. I've never gone in a yeah. room solo with a girl I sober love and it's done in it. A, because in a then group. I think that then I am. that's niche. Yeah. I've never I've no, never I've gone into a group. That. I think I'd shit myself. Yeah, I'm too, yeah, well I'd you do. Scat in the you toilet. Do. Be awful. But have you ever had people try and sell stories being like, I've slept with Katie Price and they haven't slept with you? I've never, don't think anyone's done a kiss and tell me. Do you know, I haven't oh. slept with that many people. I've been in, been married how many times? That's true. Relationships. 
What would but you? People think I have. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I've got experience. Come Don't worry now. about that sunshine. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Let the sun shine now. Let the sun. But calm down. Thank you. But go on. Go on. Uh, what was your favourite wedding? If you had to pick one. Well, I didn't really see the first one because it was what? okay, Mag, and uh, I was kept. I, I wasn't. Ah. Uh, but I would say that was my favourite because it, there was so much going. It was a spectacular wedding, but the I dress. just didn't get to see it all. Why? Because when you do a magazine deal, you have to do pictures, and then I wasn't allowed uh, to say I had all helicopters, Sky News. It was it was quite a big event. Oh, so until they released it, you all weren't of really. That, yeah. Oh yeah, that shit. Yeah, it, it wasn't. But the when I looked at it, it looked like an amazing <laughs> wedding. And when I looked at there. it online, yeah, and great. Everyone said it looked amazing. <laughs> Um, but I would say my weddings are the rehearsals until the real one. I agree. My mum's been round the ringer and she found her man. Did and she? I love that. Yeah. She well, only three, but you Same know, I think. Me. Oh yeah, because you had renewals. I've, I think about over eight or nine times I've love worn that. wedding dresses. But I think, I think now I need to bring on your out next one, you should bring out a line. I oh was my god! That. Oh my god! Do I'd it. I'd like to do that. There's so much, this is why you say, what am I doing when I'm 80? So I'm not going to stop. Do you know idea. what I want to do? Tell me. I wanted to bring out a coffin range and I said to my mum, she could have been the first one in it. <laughs> but she <laughs> survived it. And my Bastard. slogan was, sparkle in your sleep. Oh, please do it. But please the do coffin it. range that I would do, yeah. it would have to have a walkie-talkie in it and a mobile phone and yeah. an oxygen tank and gas. Just in, in case. In case someone survived. And yeah. I think, that if anyone's in a coffin, they're getting buried or yeah. whatever, get all your friends and family to sign all inside it so you feel like... Oh, like a Leavers T-shirt. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Would they be pink? Well, whatever colour they fancy. I'm in. You've got a couple years until I pass, so I reckon if you get that started now, I'll be. I'll even do oh, the open casket. I can't talk about my funeral because I did it with Kathy Burke. You wait till you hear when I did Kathy what she's... Because she talks about funerals and death. Yes, That's what yeah, she does. yeah. I can imagine yours is going to be... Are you going to do an okay funeral? Tell me now. Well, I won't be able to do the deal unless I do it before. <sighs> Princess, get on that. She can sort that for you. <laughs> yeah. She can do all the paperwork for that. No but, stress. Um, well, I haven't finished, like... Well, I always thought I'd die in a car crash and it didn't happen. Brilliant. Okay. Right. That didn't happen. And <laughs> yeah. when I was in America years ago, I actually saw someone. She had a crystal ball. And I said, how am I going to die? She's like, what? You want to know God, that? God, what a question. Yeah. But she was obviously diplomatic. Went, oh, you're going to die old in your sleep. There's no way no, I No, I don't want to hear that. I'm you won't. Die I know you won't. Even if I have to create my own death to not be normal. Your life. I think it will be something ridiculous. Like. If I was terminal ill. Yeah. I'm not joking. If I was terminal ill and I knew I was going to die. Yeah. I would create my own death and have everyone involved in it because I'm not. I don't want to what, die. Like a mass death, or just you? No, dying? with everyone. I would literally. Oh, okay. I thought you because, meant everyone dies with you. I'm not you involved. You go to Switzerland. Do it. The reason why I don't want to go in a hospice personally and have morphine and you die that way. You wouldn't suit it. No, yeah. I'd have to do something spectacular. I'd, I'd have to have a funeral before I'm dead. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know why people don't start that. Yeah, because then you can see who turns. Because I like, always want to see my funeral. We'll yeah, see you turn, so you what could do your funeral up. before, but no one, yeah. knows, no one knows when you're going to die anyway. I feel like I need to touch word. I just got shivers. Well, um, what would have I got? I've done, I've survived. I've got more lives than a cat. That's true. Oh, yeah. Have you, well, I was going to say how many near-death experiences do you think you could Loads. count? Loads. Well, look at my feet. I broke them to you. I, don't I know can't believe that. 20-foot drop into an underground car park just by oh jumping a bush. Oh, my God. Didn't you break both of your legs? Feet. Feet. Same but thing. Look at the scar. Oh my god! Walking screws in it. I was in. It happened during COVID. I was in a wheelchair. I just want to say that was an iconic picture. I know you probably what, hate the wheelchair? that. I are do. You know you what? My pink one. Fucking or what? crazy. I yeah. want to bring just out just you there with your two casts. Do you know what? Looking that? glam. Loved it. Love that. I mean, I wouldn't say I loved it, but no. I want to <laughs> bring out crutches and wheelchairs, sparkle as well. But I want to so break my boring. leg to do that. See for my boots because I still wear them boots sometimes. They're all crystallized. You've got so many business opportunities. Yeah, but no, I need out your someone ears. to do it. For I'll write me. it down for you. I can't have anything in my name at the minute because you're when you're in a bankruptcy. Just it do it under matter. Jordan or something. Do you know, it's not even about the money. I just love doing it. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, I'd take Because people got to remember, you can't take money with you. At the end of the day, we're born the same and yeah. we all go. What's in between? We all love money. Don't get me wrong, but we the do. most important thing to me 
is enjoying what I do, creating things. Yeah. And I love it. What's the most expensive thing you've bought? Apart from a house. Oh, it'd be diamonds or a horse. Right. Oh, yeah, car. horses are fucking expensive. I remember one of my horses was £250,000. I've still got him. He's I was going to say, I hope he didn't die oh, within a Wallace, year. Wallace, isn't it? Wallace. I've still that's got his him. Name. 250 grand he was. That's, that's like He's a house. 20 years old now. Jesus. Yeah. He's eating diamonds for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Fucking, he is like that. I can only I love imagine. Him. But yeah, horses, diamonds and cars or a house. Well, yeah, I can imagine. But but I'm not really a designer label person. I have with shoes mm-hmm. and bags because I can't find designers to fit me because of my boobs. That happens. Unless it's a tracksuit. Yeah, and then you can just shove it on over yeah, the top. I love that tracksuit you got on. Thank you. What's it called again? Needles. Needles. Can you write that down, please, princess? Needles. I think I'll, they'll gift you. 100%. No, so I, I don't. Oh, do you know what? I don't like to gift. Really? I feel like I owe them a favour. Fuck them. And not only that, like, I get some people who are like, I'd love to do this and that for you. And I'm like... For what, though? I'd rather just pay because it costs more to do a post of me. But there are businesses out there who I do do stuff for for nothing because I am for helping other people's businesses. Oh, my God. I'm not a bitch where it's yeah. all about money. Do you know what? So do some you, do people you keep are. up with the Kardashians? I've never watched it. Don't worry about it, but... Courtney. Apparently she knows me because she tweeted about me, didn't she, on the aeroplane? She, she was on the aeroplane. And by the way, incredible. If I had that, I'll just die. I'm happy to die. But Courtney, her wedding was sponsored by Dolce & Cabana. Everyone was wearing it. Oh, but that was amazing. I think your next wedding, if you have one, should no be some sort of No designers would ever give me anything. You're yes, joking. I, I've, when I've been to film premieres, like, well, no designer out there will lend me because no. I'm not the type of person they want me to be seen. And it's like fucking out. It's a piece of fabric. This is a message to Prada. Get your shit yeah. together. Do or you know shoes. who this woman is? I've got perfect feet. I know they're broke, feet. but they're good feet. Not at the moment, but she, but she will have perfect feet. They are perfect. They're manicured every 10 days. Give her a chance. Apart from I broke my nail yesterday. That's all that, right. No, you don't realise how ill Not that makes me. Not you swearing at me. Oh, da- <laughs> that makes me... Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed. Always match. Hands and feet, look. Oh, you always, are matching. Always match. Oh, I love that. I Always. love that. That shows that a woman's got her shit together. I have to I say. I do. I'm, no, I, what I am, I'm discombobulated. Brilliant words. I'm organised chaos. Yeah, as it should be. I know where everything is, even if it looks messy. And that's how your life should be. Can we do a podcast again? Yes. I feel there's so much we need to talk 100%, about. 100%. But before we end this one, I yeah. like to ask my guests. Oh, shit. What advice would you give <gasps> to save Grace? That's me. To save you. Have a night out with me. Fine. That was easy. Have a night out. Yeah. Come around for Rose. Yeah. Bring your boyfriend. Absolutely. We'll be we'll there. I reckon we'll pals from this. You're my Hun- cup of tea. Can I get on the horse as well? Is that Can right? you ride? No. Oh, you've got to. I'll do it though. I, I could do a little... I actually stay friends with you a actually. Trot. I don't say that. Have you heard me say that to anyone, Christina? Jada, do I say that to Thank anyone? Thank God. I needed because that. Because in this industry, they're bullshitters, arse lickers, this, that. I don't trust anyone. All they all want money, this or that. Yeah, fuck them. But I could see you as a friend of mine. I love it. I will genuinely die happy now. Don't worry about You've it. You've got to do Thank it. Thank you, 100%. We should do a part two. Do, what do you think, listeners? You've I think we let should do a part Grace two. Grace know part two because there's lots of questions we need to we cover. We should do a part two over a bottle of wine. Oh, then I'll be saying things that's Yeah, same. X-rated. It would be a five minute episode because we cut all of it out. <laughs> but thank you so I'm much like, for coming up. Tequila, right? <laughs> yeah, all of the bottle. each other on. <laughs> Like I'll be singing Whitney, the whole soundtrack. As it should be. Yeah, I love it. I'd listen to it. So right. can I just ask you something? Yeah, go for it. Why not? I'm scared. No, just viewers. Is there anything someone might not know about you? Me? Like, for example, with me, I've got three sewing machines. I love sewing and I make curtains and oh. that. So is there something about you that no one would probably expect? I'm interested myself. Oh, oh, I'm such an open book. Let and me why think. you used to work in Costco's, you said. Costa, yeah. So why when I go in Costco's, people are like, why are you in here? And I'm like, getting a bargain like you. Do you know what? People frown if I'm in my big fucking trolley. The in thought Costco. was there because I worked at Costa. However, Costco oh. is a fucking nightmare. Oh, Costa, even yeah, better. I'll no, go have even, some whipped cream, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, what does somebody. I thought you said Costco. I, I, <laughs> But that would go, be I a humble beginning. That would be a humble beginning. I hate Costco. It's too much for me. I get overstimulated. That, in that's there. what I mean. You I go in there it. for one thing. I sweat in there. I sweat. And it's the sweets. And yeah. Then you just and then why is it next to a water slide oh, and an yes. air fryer? Fuck me. I fucking love it. I hate it. Please. I don't know what something would be, but I think maybe. Do you I... wear socks in bed or? Okay. 
Are you a shower person or bath? I'm a shower person. Oh only bath to scrub off my fake tan. Do you? I've, the only bit of me that's proper hairy is my big toe. Got it from my dad. Don't and, you shave it? Oh, come on. Yeah, I do. And <laughs> you don't have hairy nipples. Every woman No, gets I them. don't. I don't when really have get hairy nipples. I don't. don't mine have been on the chopping board so many times. <laughs> They're perfect. I don't know what else. And I've got... Well, like my toes being sucked. Have do that, you? Katie. Yeah, I do. I hate my boobs being touched. So do the I. Nipple. It fucks me off. Yes. It's not nice. What it is that? It makes me like a screenshot. Luckily, Cole is the same as me. Doesn't like his nipples being touched. You just, from the bottom And I onwards. hate mine being touched. I don't mind if they do that, but then yeah. I'm like, you're just perving at them. Obviously. <laughs> I hate my nipples being touched. Same. I think it should be illegal. It's horrible. I've got it's mine like pierced as well, so it's horrible. It feels like I'm gonna, yeah. gonna say prolapse, but that's not the word. No, I haven't had a prolapse. I know I had half. Neither but have mine I. Was some roots. I had a pile once, but that's about it. No, I'd shit myself if I. I all through my pregnancy, <laughs> I was thinking, please don't have a pile. I look like a balloon knot. Wouldn't it? We've digressed too far. Right, we were anyway. We loads of time. Let's join us Thank for part two. Yeah, join us for part two. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. If you've been listening, give it a like and subscribe. No, if you've been watching, give it a like and subscribe. And if you've been listening, give it a follow and a five star review. Say bye, Katie. Love that, guys. And we, we might have you on my podcast. I'm on. Oh, also, wait, drop the name of your podcast and your mum's book. What's it called? The Katie Price Show. Hilarious that you didn't know that. I don't. I'm useless. Watch listen, watch and listen to the Katie Price Show. And what's your mum's book called? Hold on, I've got it written up here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, Last Words. So I'm useless. What's it called? How Last Words? How do I promote words? myself? Last Words. Yeah, my mum's book's out now called The Last Word, and it really is. Go and buy my it. podcast is called The Katie Price Show. Go and go and do your thing. See ya. Yeah, bye. Enjoy the premiere. Enjoy thank you.